Hello, Geminis. I hope you are doing well. Thank you so much for being here. This is a touch of tarot. All my info is below if you want a book or whatever. Let's see what's coming up. Ooh, nice card to start with. Eight of Swords in reverse. Oh, boy. So we have an Emperor in a reverse. Let's see. Let's get a few cards yet. Yeah, we're going to do three rows and then clarify and all that stuff. Get some extra messages. Okay, so something's up. My cards are not in reverse. I am not um, someone who keeps my cards mixed up. And, um, okay, put those together. So the one thing that is okay during whatever the heck is going on, I'm going to say is you. If you resonate with this Nine of Pentacles energy, still standing strong, still hanging on, still doing your best. Um, for some of you, you don't even know how many seeds you've planted that are going to bloom. But I do see that, yes, you've come out of some confusion, possibly involver, involving a fire sign. And I mean, there's a closure here. It's a complete closure here. You know, someone could have been blocking out love, not giving love, not discussing love, not bringing it up. You had to learn to love yourself. And I feel like you did walk away. It took a lot of effort. Um, and it may have been quite painful for you, Gemini. So, I mean, the one great thing is that you came here standing up and being strong. And if you don't feel like this is you yet, you're on your way. You're like three steps away from being there. Okay, it's not easy. It took a lot of strength and power and determination. I feel like you actually totally gave in and surrendered to this energy that was happening here. Like you couldn't stay in the Eight of Swords any longer. The Emperor is someone who is actually quite stubborn. And I mean, with both of those cards, if they would have been in the upright, that still could have been a quite powerful message, like someone not speaking of love. However, what I do get is you may have given someone a wake-up call now about their behavior because you just separated yourself from it, even no matter how hard it was for you, Geminis. So it's amazing here. Wow, a lot of your cards want to come in reverse today. We're going to just take this and see what happens. Mm, that's interesting. Let's see what else we have here. So, I mean, it's really interesting. And even seeing the judgment card at the bottom, that could be about some sort of a renewal. Um, I feel like you really closed this cycle and you don't really want to renew it. And this may be with the emperor in reverse going this connection, um, finally opening their eyes or their mind to this situation. As soon as you closed out or started focusing, that this person would finally come to a realization this person does want to speak to you i believe or they're thinking about communicating in one way or another because they're starting to value you the more you value yourself gemini's okay we're definitely going to be clarifying this but this is really powerful for many of you if you've let go of a situation at least mentally you know maybe you haven't fully walked away a hundred percent but you have done everything in your strength to surrender and let it go and I feel like you know this is best. You're listening. It's going to serve you very well. You are gaining some sort of strength from these power moves you've made, Gemini. Good for you. So I'm sure that there's going to be more to a message than that. But I heard you're holding on to your wits about you. There's something about that, like the lessons you've learned. Um, holding on to those thoughts. Okay, let's see what else we get here. Wow, okay, and one more. Let's see what we get here. Wow. I mean, you definitely know what you want and what you don't want. You're holding out for someone who's serious, I get, or for a serious offer of commitment here, and you want someone who's going to be very truthful, integral, honest, um, who knows what they want, okay? So you are actually holding out for that. You are not going to move forward unless there's a solid commitment and I don't know if it's from this person or just from the next person that comes into your life but let's definitely clarify this a bit let's clarify these first couple cards like what happened here it looks like you find 
got out of the energy of being depressed, sad, or just overthinking is more what I get. You don't know. I think like there, you know, obviously with the eight of swords and that type of um, overthinking, there could be depression for sure, right? Like not knowing where you stand, maybe not having communication or not understanding. Um, you could have been trying to figure this out and it could have actually been taking your power from you by focusing so heavily on this. You could have been watching a lot of tarot readings or something like that because you were probably brokenhearted. So you know when you're brokenhearted about something, possibly a King of Cups energy, not seeing your value. So Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. I'm also seeing the Capricorn energy and um, Leo energy here. But you know when you're brokenhearted, you can't get your head off of it. You're just like, why did this person do that? Trying to find answers in other places when actually the answer is in your your heart, it's in your pain, it's in your growth that comes from that. Um, so this emperor in reverse turning into the page of wands and possibly the knight of wands, and we have the knight of wands again. So I feel like you may be holding out for this possible um, water sign, I'm going to say, because I keep on seeing the king of cups sticking out here. You may be holding out for this person to come forward with a brand new beginning that is solid, um, but also it could have been that this person was taking a long time coming forward because they, maybe they had like some stuff that really affected them. Here we go. Okay. I wasn't going to go to the marriage. Okay. I wasn't going to go to the devil energy, but this is right here. And having a king of pentacles card come out in the nine of swords is telling me that this emperor in reverse had other obligations, other people they had to take care of. Um, they could have been married or in like a devilish type of connection. So there was toxicity in that. And that's part of the reason that this person doesn't move forward fast or maybe wasn't moving forward. Okay. That's actually a very strong message. And here it's showing this is someone who's quite responsible, but more importantly, I feel like this person had responsibilities elsewhere. <clears throat> so how did you stay strong, Gemini? Let's see that. How do you stay so strong and, and love yourself and do that? I just feel like it wasn't easy, but I think maybe deep down inside you knew that you will get the love you deserve. Um, if this person is your twin or your soulmate, you knew they will return. Uh, but I think you were also willing to let go because you came to some sort of a perspective that whatever you were doing, it didn't feel good. It was stealing from your energy is what I really get strongly um, and that alone is valuing yourself, you know, that's showing that you know you deserve better or you know you will get the love you wanted. So that's how you were able to stay strong just day by day is what I get, um, knowing that what's meant for you would come to you, okay? And also what I get is you didn't want to, oh, wow, I don't know who I'm picking up this energy from, but I just heard literally, and I don't talk like this, but you're like, I didn't want no fuck boy. So for some of you, um, that's what you were considering this person. Like I just heard that exact sentence. So if you just said that in your mind, you are picking up on your energy. <laughs> okay. So you definitely are waiting or holding out for someone who knows what they want with that seven of cups in reverse. Let's talk about that for a second. And for sure, we have the chariot. This is someone who's, who makes decisions. So we have a couple of cards here who makes decisions and they make them knowing that they want to have success. Um, so definitely you're waiting for someone who only makes a move when they know what they want. Let's see what's behind there. And that's the ace of swords. That's definitely about knowing what they want. I feel with the five of swords here and the five of cups, you're waiting for someone that's willing and ready to make a change in everything technically, you know? So I'm not even going to, we don't really have to get into that because you just want someone that knows what they want and isn't going to come forward until they've made the changes they had to. Maybe this person had to let go of other people or stop focusing on some sort of toxic behavior or like an alcoholic problem, you know? So you're holding out for that. And let me um, clarify this world in reverse, you know? And that's the Queen of Pentacles. And that is because you're not rushing into anything. In fact, I think you're more moving towards ending before rushing into something that doesn't meet your values whatever you went through you've gone through a very uh, rough time okay and so that's why you're holding back i just want to clarify that yeah it was painful so you're not just gonna move forward with just anyone gemini's and 
I feel like you've made it far. I feel like because you're in the energy of the high priestess, nine of pentacles, queen of pentacles, you are all good. You're going to do just fine, okay? So let's get one card about this. Please and thank you. Look at the card that came out. We have a discovery. At the bottom of the deck, we have decree. So let's talk about that and taking steps. I feel like this is my favorite card, Gems, and I feel like that's just like the Nine of Pentacles. You're definitely taking steps to level up to a new level. You're not going to settle any longer. But look at this. I think within the space you've given this person or with you pulling your energy away, decreasing your energy, your person is finally waking up, number eight, and seeing the gem, it's kind of, it's kind of like, I just, you know, I guess it's humbling. It's like you had this, you didn't notice it until they walked away. I don't know what to say about that. Um, but the point is, is this emperor, it's the same energy of this as the page of wands, finally realizing, you know. So let's just move forward. I want to pull you one more card before I go. What a beautiful, oh, I'm going to get two cards up. One here. So I'm just going to take that one, even though two came out. And so what I see is the card that says love is on the brain. Oh, no, <laughs> love is beyond the brain. Okay, so you got two messages there from this one card on the brain or beyond the brain. Um, I think that this person is heavily thinking of you right now. So love is on their brain. But maybe they're coming to an understanding that there's something very special here. The page of wands for me is actually someone realizing a very deep connection. Okay, so we have the card of freedom. That could be what this person was afraid of, of losing their freedom. But this says there is nothing stopping you. The path is clear if you want it to be. So that is the card. It means whatever it means for you. But this is that energy again, kind of of the Nine of Pentacles. Thank you so much, Geminis. I appreciate you a lot. Bye for now.